Chat, I might be able to... Screw the quest for the sort of bad health. I might be able to literally get whatever the... I keep forgetting. Ragnarok Axe. Ooh. I might be able to get Ragnarok Axe. I have three that, out of 20 right that now. Would be, that would be a monster item for you to have right now. It would like, be insane. Actually insane. That, yeah, that would be... A I feel determined at this point to get Ragnarok Axe because that will definitely push through the... Um, <sighs> Yeah, you got this. <laughs> oh, the, it will push through the, the great damage wall. I could put sus on it. Hello. The Duke's flaming fist hit you for zero damage and you died. <gasps> oh, and I got credit for the mage outlaw the hell i'm getting so much bestiary right now i actually might get another plus million xp four hallowed skulls already once we get one more kill we're one fourth of the way to ragnarok axe that's huge i was not aware that ragnarok axe was that easy to get and a flaming eye, burning eye. We need a lot of those. And chat, we are officially one fourth of the way to Ragnarok X. That's crazy, bro. That's like, that's like big dub right there. You know what? A Ragnarok axe, I think would be the first weapon I get that deserves like hot potato books and it also has the ability which gives you a ton more strength which would synergize so well with a tarantula helmet oh oh yeah oh yeah mage outlaw down i also hit the blade soul once i kind of want to hit him again there we go hit the blade soul twice i like this system chat i like it a lot and we're getting a lot of bestiary which means we're getting a lot of combat xp and oh boy also i just got a kudra key pretty sure that was because the beacon disappeared with the mage outlaw yep okay so that theory is correct as long as i damage the mob a little bit and then i don't even bother to get it then uh, i will still get it as long as i'm still in the lobby it How much Crimson Essence do I need to dungeonize a Ragnarok Axe? This is like serious because this is going to be my weapon before Livid Dagger. Guaranteed. And even then it might actually do more damage. It might do more damage per hit actually. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it. It might. It has a ton of base damage as far as I remember. Another Kudra Key. Bro. We're getting so many Kudra Keys. This is crazy. This is the strat, dude. This is by far, this is insanity. This is the strategy. This is how you do Crimson Isles when you're poor. <laughs> you just voodoo doll on the bosses and you get a million damage if you survive in the case of the stupid mage. 5.2 million damage. Voodoo doll is just so good. I'm punching way above my weight class right now. It's just not even fair. Six more. Chat, this is getting, this is getting close. I think... I'm gonna craft the 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 thing tomorrow. Chat! Chat! Look! 28.9 million damage. That's a suitable amount of the mob's health. I got 20 hallowed skulls. We can make the Ragnarok axe, and I just got. 1.4 mil on that mage there, but look 250 damage 70 strength that's gonna do so much damage your tarantula helmet Oh Man now here's the thing do I keep going for for Cloak of contagion. I feel like that's gonna be most helpful when I get juju short bow so I think for right now, this is going to be the last one I do damage to. And then we're going to exit the lobby. Then I think we're going to set up. I don't want to craft it yet, but I want to get all the stuff I'm going to put on it. 
This is going to be our main weapon for a while for sure. There we go. Leather cloth done. Let's get out of here. This is still going to be a huge upgrade though from what we currently have. It's going to be a huge upgrade. Like incredible upgrade. We might get up into the 70k damage a hit range maybe. We'll see. But anyways, for now, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock and I'm wearing a fancy shirt today. Look at this. It's been a month. It's, it has officially been a month since the start of this profile. It's finally been one month and I have a lot of news to share with you guys today. I figured out some big brain stuff off camera. I got some RNG drops. The progression was insane, but it would have been kind of boring to show it all to do the grind. So it's a good thing I did it off screen but anyways it has officially been 30 days since the start of the profile and today i would like to showcase how far we've gotten get some overpowered items that i have been planning for test our damage talk about skill average talk about what armor and weapons i have all that stuff so let's get right into it so welcome back <laughs> we are back on the island and I have some pretty crazy stuff to show you. First of all, we're going to go to the final page of the ender chest and I have a bombshell to drop. Boom. I dropped a bow pet off camera when doing a topaz crystal commission for crystal hollows. I wanted to get my dailies done off screen and sure enough, when getting the topaz crystal for a nucleus run there he is epic valpet dropped and now he's mine now i did some research valpet luckily only costs about two mil to upgrade a cat so i'm okay with that two million coins is way better than having to just wait for a drop and maybe not get it for weeks and weeks so there you go second drop i got a travel scroll to the De the den uh, spider's nest the top now that's actually kind of funny right uh i was killing spoothers off screen which might suggest what i was up to but yeah i got the travel scroll just now so that's cool i could teleport to the top of the spider's den now, if i could find it where is it i think i have to change lobbies to see it there it is so now i can warp up here onion now the biggest bombshell that i have to drop today comes in the form of a video that i recorded yesterday morning i'm gonna click a button it's gonna play a five minute clip i recorded yesterday and i'm gonna keep my mouth shut and it's up to you guys to determine what the hell i did so this afk in my lobby dropped uh luxurious spools at 10 26 a.m which was three minutes short of an hour ago uh, he's right here we're sniping him and if everything goes according to plan the boss should be spawning in a minute and 30 seconds to two minutes so now in the next two minutes we should get a brood mother spawn and i'm gonna spam dreadlord in these two spots there it was there it was two spools two talismans let's go and just like that we have the silky power unlocked and a ton of overflow spider talismans i am nine for nine every single time i've attempted this i yoink the kill not once did the spider get taken from me and actually, this is the second time I got two spools from one boss. Let's go! So there you go. There it is. That is how I acquired nine luxurious spools using that strategy. So it turns out my theory was correct. So here's the full formula for those of you wondering how the hell to get nine luxurious spools on your Iron Man. Wow. The, the lobby starts, the lobby loads, day zero, just loaded. Broodmother immediately is there. It spawns right away. People are desperate for coin and money. So within 30 seconds of the lobby opening, they kill the boss, dead. 
and then from that point forward it will spawn one hour later get insta killed by afkers one hour later get insta killed by afkers or people like me that yoink it you can predict with a pretty decent level of accuracy that you need to arrive at a lobby that is either days 2 5 8 11 or 14 because the boss spawns on days 3 6 9 12 15 every three days and you want to arrive one day early one minecraft day early which is 20 minutes so you'll have to wait a maximum of like 25 minutes before the boss will spawn and then you wear a witch mask because it does a ton of damage and it's really fast response time so long as you're moving around that's why you don't see people afking with it you have to be moving dreadlord sword spamming two spots and you almost guarantee that you're gonna yoink the kill but here's the funny thing yesterday we figured out the final piece of the puzzle if there's an afk or in your lobby you can go on skycrypt check their inventory and see exactly when they acquired the most recent spool and or talisman and that will tell you with a very accurate estimation when the next one will spawn and that's exactly what i did uh, about seven times i got nine spools i actually have an extra one at home i got uh the last brood mother i did drop two so I have an extra spool that I can't use, but there you go. That's how you get the best power stone in the game without buying spools. Silky. And now we have Mastiff Armor as well. Now, I'm not done yet. I farmed Kane off camera, got the hoe to 33.5 million Kane collection. That's not a big deal. It was a couple hours, not really that big a deal. But I'm here for money, so I'm going to sell it. As a matter of fact, there is no other purpose for Kane anymore on my profile. We're going to take some of that coin, and we are going to reforge my Shaman Sword with sus. It's 500,000 coins, but that's okay. I'm doing it for the content. Wasting 500k on this, but here's the thing. Sus suspicious is the best reforge in the game for crit damage and it synergizes extremely well with the shaman sword and mastiff armor because it increases your health increases your damage so i'm doing it so boom suspicious shaman sword can't even read the text 500k 115 crit damage i wish by the stream i could have gotten pooch sword but i just couldn't do that many uh uh sven slayers but look at the health 36,000 health and that's not even with the right pet um actually no <laughs> enderman pet does award crit damage so i technically could have gone even further with that um griffin does award crit damage Whoo! 38,500 health and then if i smack a zombie almost 50k damage a hit without using the rev falchion now, if I switch to Rev Falchion, my health is going to go down, probably. Nope, it's about the same. All right. Damage. Wait, why'd it go down? Your crit damage is 50% less effective. Ah, see, that's what the problem is. That's the problem. Okay. So, let's ignore the Reaper Falchion never happened. 50, 42, 48, around 50,000 damage a hit with Silky. That's freaking awesome. That's the best damage that I have on anything, I think. Um, 50,000 is about how much damage I was doing with the Reaper Falchion. That's pretty freaking cool. And I actually last stream got Skeleton Master to pair with the Tarantula Helmet. And in order to go through that line of progression, I have something else. I have something cool for you. At the end of stream, I accidentally discovered that you can get a million damage on Crimson Isle bosses using the Voodoo Doll, which means I am allowed to get Hallowed Skulls. 20 of them to be exact. I got my best RNG uh, enchantment books together, and I have 20 Hallowed Skulls. So we're going to see is the sus shaman sword with mastiff armor and with the silky power stone better than three fourths skeleton master armor tarantula helmet and ragnarok axe <laughs> 250 damage 70 strength 
and with the right click ability that allows you to double your strength for three seconds boom oh i feel accomplished right now now one thing i just realized did i set my uh oh i didn't set my stats tuning hold on hold on we might be able to get slightly better with this let's test it we officially hit 40,000 damage with master farmer chat we officially hit 40,000. 40,000 health 52.5k damage per hit 40,000 damage Woo. or not 40,000 50,000 damage 40,000 health and master farmer that's nuts that's stupid yeah i know i said damage i said the wrong thing why wow. i also when i was in dugans actually got enough fairy souls to redeem yet another of these so i have a play time of 381 hours in this past month so pff, yeah like 90 95 hour weeks i've spent playing this game that's insanity that is kind of crazy though we got the best three power stones in the game uh, or powers i should say we got uh silky we got forceful and we got sighted although sighted is technically not the best bizarre is the best when it comes to mage but like it's such a massive jump in price for not that big a jump in damage so i consider it almost tied it's not quite tied but it's close all right hopefully we get a um hopefully we get my levels back now how expensive is it gonna be to add all of i have scavenger four luck six looting four giant killer six vampirism six siphon four critical six i'm putting all on the ragnarok axe so let's test it out. Let's see how expensive this will be. I also have a singular hot potato book. I gotta get more. We're also gonna put us on it because it's the best reforge I'm gonna have for a while. So there we go. Suspicious Ragnarok Axe. We did it. Look at this dude. Ooh. Oh yeah. Crit damage is 120%. So that puts me at, with what pet? Let's switch back to Guardian. 40,600 health. That's dumb. All right. Anything else, chat? I don't have enough hot potato books to put any more than this. Yeah, I think it's, try it's time to try. So this is the other strategy, chat. So instead of going with Shaman Sword, Pooch Sword, Shaman Sword, Shaman Sword, Master Farmer with um, uh, Silky Power. Let's take a look and see which would be better for me. Crit damage versus strength. A mix of both would be better, but I don't think I have one that's a... Forceful is a little bit more even, I think. If I hold this... Yeah, much more even. So 605, 577. Let's try this out with, I believe, Lion Pet. Let's test this out. Tarantula Helm. Oh! And obviously we want the more the more strength the better now that i think about it because it synergizes with the tarantula helmet boom it does even more Sixty thousand damage a hit and we haven't even maxed out to a thousand strength for the tarantula helmet oh now we're not done yet we're not done let's try opening a channel and doing the ability Ha 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 ha!